Hello and welcome to another Budget Computers video and today we're going to be taking a look at this $300 gaming PC that pretty much goes all out in the sense of it's a workstation, it's a gaming machine, it has pretty much everything you're going to need for pretty much workstation tasks etc. So let's talk about what we got in the specs. Currently I've got 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory sitting in here that is basically going to work as workstation memory that um, basically when you're you know doing video editing which gaming only requires we'll just say 8 at a minimum um, 16 is probably safe for now in the day's market but for the, for the workstation task 16 is a minimum so I put that in there as for the GPU we have a GTX 460 which is 1 gigabyte of DDR5 um, uh, memory or GDDR5 um, memory which basically sits in there hard drive I've actually got my personal OS drive as well as my um, game drive that I'll be putting all the games on and testing with. Um, so over here, um, basically the system just has um, pretty much a simple layout, uh, regular kind of semi-decent power supply. Um, the motherboard and stuff I was actually able to find as a combo. So as you can tell here, there's a nice combination um, right there. But um, basically this um, hard drive and the SSD are kind of separate, but in order to get like a new uh, used hard drive, like a terabyte, it's only um, like 10 bucks more. And actually this computer is more like 250. So there's still a good bit um, more range to actually go up and add stuff or take stuff away. Um, but as I said, the reason why there is a sound card in here is simply because of the fact that a sound card, this motherboard doesn't actually have output for sound. And if you're gaming, you really want that surround sound so you're really going to need that. Um, down here on the very bottom there's a landline. Um, I just got too lazy to take it out. It was all in the motherboard with the motherboard. So basically I just kind of took the motherboard and, you know, popped it in here and then started adding to it. Um, this was the original GPU that I found. Um, it's an old ATI Radeon. But um, now I think I will go with um, this, uh, the GTX um, 460 instead just because it's simpler and easier to use in that sense. But besides that, this computer all comes around or comes to around um, 250 bucks. If you wanted to add some additional hard drives, you'd basically be looking at, um, you know, depending on what you're going for, if you want five terabytes of hard drive space, which I'm sure, assuming if you're doing workstation tasks, you probably are, um, then, you know, you can always add those in here. Um, and of course, this looks like a semi good system. There is no side casing though, but this is basically built off of a old. Dell XPS computer, which basically is what you're looking at right here is the casing um, and then the motherboard as well and with the CPU. And the CPU, we'll talk about that. CPU has an i7, um, I believe it's the, I believe it's the first gen, I think. So the first gen i7 is in there and basically that's what you're looking at inside that system. So uh, let's get into the kind of building stages and then of course let's move on to the testing. So to start off to make this a workstation gaming kind of computer, you're going to need, of course, some RAM, a good CPU, and of course a good GPU. So for the RAM, at 16 gigabytes of DDR3, and um, hopefully these are all in two sticks, and actually two are in the system right now as I'm desperately trying to install Windows. So we've got the magical amount of RAM here. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to max it out 16 gigs, and we're going to pop it in here. The GPU, which also is different, is um, right here which is a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 460, which basically, um, I believe is actually the down the model that I previously had that I gave to my uncle for his um, budget computer as well. But point being is we're going to be using this right here, as well as some RAM, and of course the i7 that's currently in here, to basically make this as a top tier kind of budget computer as you can for workstation in general. So this is an old Dell XPS, which basically, um, and it's, Prime, I guess, was designed as a workstation, and basically what we're going to be doing is kind of turning it, um, you know, replacing the stuff in there and maxing out. Now, this is bare bones. This only has a motherboard and the CPU in here, pretty much. There's a sound card, because I don't believe the motherboard has support for sound, which it does not, so basically that kind of needs to stay there if you want anything decent sound quality. 
but we're going to be switching out the graphics card that's currently in here, which I believe this is an old Radeon. I cannot even find it. But then we'll be switching it out and we'll be putting it in there and basically testing the games on here. So we are in the PUBG. And uh, honestly, I it's a little bit laggy. I can pretty much tell, especially when you get in the screen, you get a little bit of screen. Uh, you know, just, just a little bit of jittering when you're going across the thing. But other than that, for, uh, you know, the lowest settings, I don't see a difficulty with playing. I really don't. I feel like this is definitely playable. We'll see how well it goes um, when we actually get in the game. And I apologize, I actually don't usually play third person. I usually play first just because I kind of like it more. But we can see how this goes. But, um, yeah, it looks pretty dang good. I mean, for... Yeah, it looks really nice actually. I'm, I'm pretty impressed on it. Like how the frame rate, you know, last time when we did a budget PC and we played some PUBG, it uh it was pretty jittery. There was a lot of issues, and I'm not even gonna bother testing some of the other you know less important games like Minecraft. Will be pretty much fine. I'm I'm not concerned about Minecraft, and you know that at all. But you know the biggest thing for me I think is gonna be this in the game. Let's fix the camera real quick. But, um, yeah, the biggest thing for me is just going to be testing to make sure. And as you can see, I mean, low graphics is not the best thing. Let's see, what do I want to drop? Well, let's drop somewhere hot real quick. Okay, but regardless, you know, this will be pretty interesting just to see. You know, right now it's still butter smooth. Let's see this. Okay. But, yeah, just testing it out right now. It looks pretty dang impressive. Let's see what we got here. Oof. Okay, now we got a couple other people going, so will be a hot drop. I'm gonna go for one kill. Just get in combat real quick. Let's see if we can land over here real quick. And then uh, I go for one hot drop and then see what we can get from there. Let's see, I think we got one. Oh, this is gonna be a popping place. See if we can land here, get a gun, and just go. Because I usually don't play third. There better be a gun here somewhere. That's a backpack. I do. Okay, let's put this over here real quick. Put that down there. And where are we going to go? I might just camp a building. This is going to be a bad situation if I... I don't even have headphones on. Let's actually do this real quick. Get the some plug in some earbuds real quick. Okay, now I have some earbuds. Now I should be able to. I definitely think someone's in that building. Not this one, but we'll see. Well, I mean, hey, it looks like they actually did good with the shotguns. Okay, well, that was pretty slow and painful, but let's see if we can find another kill. I know that was kind of camping, but you know. Ah, oh, almost got it. Oh well, but um, that's basically PUBG. So uh, let's uh, let's try a different game now and see what we got here. So this is a game called um i believe i'm trying to remember what it's actually called um osiris um which i think we will have an interesting time with on this one but um yeah so this will be um you know just testing this game out as well and to be honest with you i am almost at the point right now where i'd say 300 dollars is pretty much a golden spot for 1080p gaming and this thing is literally driving me insane Oh, no, I should not have done it. Wait, how do I fix this, man? Oh, no, you can't fix it. No, 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 no. Okay, well, you know, we're just going to go this way. And um, pretty much, just by looking at this, it is, you know, yes, I mean, the graphics look pretty good because I have the graphics on low just so it would be 60 FPS. And the reason why I'm also te not testing other games, which, you know, people are like, why aren't you testing Fortnite, things like that. Um, Fortnite, if this has no issue, with, like, if this doesn't have an issue playing this game, then Fortnite and Minecraft and all those other not as heavy graphics games 
are not going to have any issues. So if you're playing this and you're like, well, what could I expect on Fortnite? Well, Fortnite's actually pretty much of a Minecraft in the amount of graphics it needs. Yes, it needs slightly more graphics and it actually uses the graphics better so you can get much higher frame rates. But to be honest, it's not um, really a big difference with what, you know, what was going on. And I honestly, I would not be concerned about, you know, if you could do it or not. Oh, they added footsteps in here. But to be honest with you, not concerned. I don't think I can break that actually. I thought I could. I, I thought I could break space jump. Oh well. But um, pretty much, you know, I'm not really surprised in the sense that, you know, look, I can extract. No, I can't. What the heck? Oh, I need to. Okay, let's let's actually get some resources in here so I actually can talk and do this at the same time. But pretty much, regardless, you've got you know a computer that pretty much seems to be able to do exactly what you want. And is there a particular reason why I cannot mine this? I swear. I played this game before, I swear. I just don't know why. Probably just, like, zip through the world. Okay, but, you know, we'll just go on a little adventure. But, you know, th that's why I'm not, you know, necessarily going about and, you know, testing a bunch of games is just because it's not really needed. Um, so, at this point, I kind of like to ask that if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy this budget computer thing, if you want to see, um, you know, me actually test, if you want to know, like, exactly what to expect, um, just, you know, pop me a comment down below, and I'll see if I can actually get you, like, an exact number, I'll test it out, um, maybe when I get back around here or whatever, but, um, if you're up for that, of course, pop that in the comments, and, uh, of course, thank you for watching, if you did give this video, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And, um, of course, as always, thank you very much um, for watching. And, of course, on my channel for other cool tech related things and things like this. Uh, goodbye. To start off, I want to make something pretty clear. Um, I actually am not actually using any of these parts. Um, I'm actually at a charity um, that helps bridge something called the Digital Divide, which is basically where everybody should have access and have the tools to access the Internet. And I'll be putting a link in the description to the... Um, you can check them out if you'd like, but um, basically they're uh, allowing me to go through here and record and of course mess around with stuff, but I also want to make sure that it's you know, a really good cause and I feel like it's definitely worth at least my time to promote it, and I also feel like it would be very you know, beneficial if you're interested in donating or something along those lines to accept computers, things like that. You can definitely go through and, you know, for example, this was all donated parts. And, you know, that's what we're using for this computer. Yes, we're, you know, getting the prices and things like that. But I do think it's a good cause. And I definitely think, you know, if you're watching this video, maybe even, you know, worth your time. And um, I do believe they have an eBay page. It does not have, it may have some of the same prices for these parts, but it also um, may just have different stuff. And I don't think they necessarily do just whole system builds. Um, but I think it'd be something cool in the future if you're checking, interested in checking it out and seeing something that has a, a good cause. At least I believe so.